Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. So excited for today's video. It's been so long since I've done anything kind of like fun, makeup-y related, like get ready with me. It's been a long time since I've looked this put together, to be honest. Very clearly, this is not your typical video because I am looking a little bit fancy right now. But um, if you could already tell by the title, today's video is prom related, which I'm so excited about because I mean, like every little girl, I guess, like most little girls, prom is kind of like a dream, you know, senior year, super exciting. With that, both of these outfits, along with all of the accessories, are from David's Bridal. So I do want to quickly shout out and say a huge thank you to David's Bridal for sponsoring this video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me on one pretty universal look. This is most likely the look I'm going to be doing for my prom along with two different like dress outfit options. And because you guys are probably all here to see the dress options first, it's going to be like a little backwards, but I'm going to be showing you guys those first and then I'm going to be going into my makeup and hair ideas. I pretty much do a very, very basic and similar hair and makeup for most of my formal things just because, you know, it's easier. They all go the same. It's just like a little variation. Plus it's pretty universal. So whatever dress I end up wearing, I can pretty much do the same hair and makeup without like major stressing about it. Plus I'm not like a crazy like makeup artist. Like I can do kind of some stuff. If you guys wanna see more makeup or getting ready with me, even though I'm not an expert videos, make sure to let me know and I'll be sure to do that. But other than that, let's get into my dress options, my makeup and my hair. And hopefully this is helpful to you guys and you guys enjoy it. And I can't wait to see all of you guys in your prom outfits and attire. Make sure to let me know in the comments when your prom is and which dress you guys like better and any other details about your prom because I would love to hear. Prom is very exciting. So let's get straight into this video. So this is the first dress. I am honestly in love with it. It is a very pale baby yellow color, which I really like because it's not too out there, but it's perfect for like the spring and it would look really, really good with a tan. It's kind of like this silky-ish material and it has this overlay flap on the top and this huge cut down the side to show your leg, which I think is so classy. And this second dress, I am absolutely in love with it. I kind of feel like a goddess wearing it because it's like the prettiest champagne pink color, which I'm pretty much always in love with. Once again, it looks really good with a tan. And then basically the top half is like bodice with all these really pretty little gems and it's just super nice detailing and I think it's really flattering and so cute. And the bottom is like this long tool. I'm in love. I also got some super cute accessories to go along with both of these dresses. First off, I got these heels. They're bedazzled. I think they're super cute and the way that they pop under either dress looks so great. I also got this really adorable rose gold little side purse. It has this really cute gold metal like handle and also like chain so you can hold it over your shoulder or just hold it in your hand and it's also a great size so it can fit a lot of stuff in there and then the last thing are these hair clips which you guys will see me use in the hair portion all right hey guys so i'm just going to be starting off with my makeup as you guys probably know i'm not a huge makeup person it's going to be pretty Minimal I would say okay before doing anything else. I'm just gonna be tying my hair back I'll be doing my hair Next I'm not gonna be like doing a super dramatic eye or anything So I think I'm gonna start off with like my skin Stuff so my skin is already clean and moisturized and all that so I'm just gonna go into some foundation and today I'm gonna be using this Sephora foundation. I'm also gonna be using the Real Techniques sponge, which I pretty much always use. I don't usually go for like a super heavy coverage when it comes to my skin. I'm grabbing my little mirror so that I can see. If I'm looking down, it's probably because I'll be looking at this mirror. Ooh, lighting. Is that too bright? Whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna be taking some of this on my fingers, on my face. It's gonna make me a little bit tanner, which I like because I'm a little bit pale right now. I don't really like wearing heavy skin makeup, but then every time I wear it, I'm always like, oh, I should wear this all the time. Because it looks so much better. And then also, my dresses that I will be showing you guys are kind of low cut. So I'm gonna try to do my best to blend this down like my neck. Of course, we always wanna blend well, but you know, a little extra for today. I have not filmed a makeup-ish video in so long. 
I'm very excited to be doing that. I love this foundation. It's super full coverage, but it's also pretty like glowy and stuff still. So it looks very, very nice. Um, I look about 10 shades tanner, which I also really like because I'm a little bit too pale right now, but we're gonna even that out a little bit with some concealer and stuff. So I'm just gonna conceal underneath my eyes using the NARS Creamy Concealer. And this is in custard, so it's pretty, pretty light. And I'm just gonna be using like a generous-ish, I would say, amount of this underneath my eyes. Oopsies, kind of like in a triangle to get rid of those little dark circles. I'm putting a tad bit on my nose and then a little bit on like my forehead and chin just to like lighten things up a tad bit and now that we've got that i'm just gonna blend it in um today i've decided that i'm not gonna go ham and like it's called set everything what is it called oh bake i'm not gonna bake because i'm feeling a little bit lazy plus i have very dry skin so baking doesn't do a whole lot for me anyways to be honest i don't really notice that much of a difference so we're just gonna call it good here um i'm just gonna finish everything off with a little powder a little bit later but before I do that we're gonna contour just a little bit I'll be using my hula bronzer and I'm just gonna be using this to contour a bit I don't really need to like bronze up the rest of my face since my foundation was pretty dark so I'm using this elf brush grabbing a little bit of that and then I'm gonna have to blend this Ooh, well I grabbed a little bit too much of that but that's fine we will blend I'm going to just set everything a little bit with some powder. This is from Wet n Wild, and I'm using this huge brush. I think this is from like It Cosmetics, I don't know. And I'm just gonna mostly focus it on like my under eyes and the middle of my face, anywhere that you may sweat off your makeup. And now that I've done that, I am going to just go on to my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows pretty much the same as I do them every day, but maybe a little bit sharper. Oh my god, I now realize I forgot to put primer on. But that's fine. I'm not actually going out, if you if you can already tell. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia, I'm using my dip brow and the powder to do my brows. Like I pretty much do them every day. I think I have a video up on that, so I'm not gonna go too into depth on this. But just to post to the everyday, I think I'm also gonna conceal my brows, which I don't always do because it takes a little bit of extra effort. Alright, so now that I've filled the brows in, I'm just going to finish them off with my Sephora Clear Brow Gel just to lock them in for the night. And then on top of that, I'm just going to be using some more of the NARS concealer and a little brush and I'm just going to conceal underneath my brows a tiny bit. When the leaves change the colors, you will break my heart. Okay. So that's where we're going to be calling it good with the brows and now we're going to be going into the eyeshadow. Personally, I don't usually do anything too fancy with eyeshadow, but it is prom. So we're going to do a little bit more. I'm just going to be sticking to one palette and that is going to be the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I'm going to go for like, I pretty much always do this. I just put like a shade in the crease and then I do like a gold shimmery something on the lid and then yeah we're gonna call it good so i'm going to take cypress and i'm gonna start off with putting that one in the crease i don't have super oily eyelids either so i didn't really have to like put a base down other than like my foundation and concealer but you can totally put down like um primer if that'll help you if you have oily eyelids or are prone to creasing On the outside, I'm going to put a little bit of this like orangey brown called Rustic just to blend things out a little bit better. Okay, but then for the big part of the show, I'm going to put some shimmery stuff on my lid. I'm going to be using this one called Fairy. And I'm pretty much just going to put that all over. Ooh, this is so pretty. So with whatever is left, I'm going to put it on the brow bone. And then with the same brush, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this shade called Bronze. And I'm going to be putting that more on the center of my lid. 
And just to finish everything off and blend it out, I'm just gonna go back to put off some brush. The dark browns and stuff blend in a little more. That's pretty much it for most of the eyes. I think I'm just gonna smudge a little um, with the same brush. I'm gonna smudge a little bit of the browns underneath my lower lash line just to tie everything in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the inner corner and use that same brush and put the little gold shade on the inner corners. We're pretty much done with the eyeshadow and then just to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna slap some lashes on and call it good. I also put some lower lash mascara on though. Um, I put all my lashes in this like big case, but the lashes I'm using today are gonna be these eye lure ones. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes a tiny bit. Okay, now that I've done that. My goodness looking a little scary since these lashes are huge i'm gonna put a little bit of lower lash mascara on as well um just to like even it out a bit i guess okay and now we're almost done i'm done with the eyes i'm just going to add a little bit of blush on my cheeks and a little bit of highlighter and then i think we'll be all done be using this milani blush as for highlighter, I'm going to be using Max Soft and Simple. Soft and Gentle, I don't know what I'm saying. And now we are finally done with the makeup. Finish everything off, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This one is by Urban Decay. And then the very last thing is lips. I am not a huge lip person. I just want my lips to look like hydrated and stuff. So I'm going to be using this Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. And this is in Red Apple. So it'll give like the slightest tint to my lips. And now we are all done with the makeup. So I'm going to go on to hair next. Back and it's time to do hair. I'm going to be doing a relatively simple do. It's pretty much just curling my hair. And then I'm just going to do a little like half up, half down kind of thing. Bring in some heat protectant, of course. And then I'm going to brush it through. I'm going to part my hair down the middle for this put about half of it back that I can curl the bottom. I'm just gonna be taking this iron and then all of this hair on this side, I'm gonna be curling it away this way and then on this side, I'm gonna curl it away this way. Now I'm just gonna let down the top part of my hair and curl that. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my hair. I am just gonna do a little half up, half down action, which will be really simple. Basically, for my entire look, I'm going kind of for like a rose gold theme. So I got these super cute clips from David's Bridal. I'm gonna be taking these bottom ones. I'm gonna take like the front section, I think, but then I'm gonna leave out some small pieces. I'm just gonna let it kind of naturally twist. And then I'm gonna take this little clip over here, like this. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side like that. that is it for my hair okay guys so that was my video I just want to say thanks again to David's bridal for sponsoring it I love working with them and I absolutely love both of the dresses and all the items and I cannot wait to wear them to my prom my prom is actually not until June so this is really really early but honestly that's better because last time I went to prom I bought my dress like two days before so we are more prepared this time around moral of the story but thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and that these makeup and hair ideas and dress ideas were helpful to you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye guys I know it's